Hey, Ray, got something for you. Come in, little robot. Mars, my man with a van. What's the news? Keeping an eye on the skies. There's something forming up there, and it doesn't look good. I need to juice up multiple sensory sectors, plus give the pattern recognition pipeline a kick in the pants. Grab any encrypted radio parts you can find. Emergency vehicles probably have them. Hmm. Commander, look for police cars, ambulances. You know, things that do good in the world. Then strip them for parts. Hey, Lars. Here are more parts for you. Thanks, little robot. With this, I can widen the color spectrum depth of the sensor suite. Before, we could only see purple. But now we can see violet, lavender, lilac, mauve, periwinkle, raisin. He may be a while. Keep up the search, Commander. Mulberry, eggplant, sangria, amethyst, purple. You know about purple? Pretty cool. Alright, this is a good one. It'll bring the noise. Um, what? I'm gonna upgrade the Rumble Pack sensor module. So now the van can reach all the jacked up audio frequencies coming from that thing. Sounds good. Yeah, I bet it sounds more like... Great job, Commander. Lars is gonna love these. Just what I need to amp up the vibe detection. Gotta know if what you're looking at is throwing out good or bad vibes, little robot. Uh, I guess that makes sense. In a Lars kind of way. There are more encrypted radio parts out there. Let's find them. <laughs> oh, thanks for this. Now I can extend the van's expanse module. Does that mean you're adding a sofa to the back? <laughs> it means that the sensors can go wider than ever before. And I don't need a sofa. I have a milk crate with a blanket on top. Sounds... homey? Bash more emergency vehicles, Commander. Rock on! These parts will let me max out the sensor's Y-axis to the furthest point of sustainability. So it'll go really high? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Super high. Keep searching. Only a couple more to go. It's your time! Oh, I guess this is the upgrade to the van sensor's yaw settings? Oh yeah! Always need more yaw! Commander, don't tell Lars, but I'm not entirely sure what yaw is. Yeah, oh yeah, always need more yaw. Definitely. That's it! The van sensory suite is upgraded and ready to rock. Now we can really get the lowdown on whatever is brewing up there. Be careful, Lars. We don't know what we're dealing with. I like to think that the storm doesn't know what it's dealing with. Us. What do you got for me? I used the souped-up van sensors to investigate the formation in the sky. My results came back. Kinda funky. Not a good bassy funk, either. I'm guessing that's bad? Well, to really analyze the new data, I need to compare it to my old research. Okay, Commander. We need to find those stashes of Lars's printed data. Uh, check basements. I've had some good times in basements. Still kind of bad rummaging through Lars's stuff. But we'll snoop in the name of science. Oh, here's one of the printouts. And a high school yearbook. Lars was voted most likely to live in a van. Oh, that's brutal. And accurate. Oh, that's the data from my old kinetic motion studies. Perfect. I can use this to develop a matrix array to compare to the new formation velocities. Why does it say old socks? If you were looking to steal important scientific research, would you look at a box marked old socks? 
I guess, but what if I was actually looking for old socks? My system works for me, and I am not changing it. Well, let's look for more data. Poor socks. Great! More of Lars' old research! Inversions of zero string substrata and simulated gravitational fields. It's like I knocked over a box of words. Yeah, I don't even know what that one means. Let's just keep moving. Ooh, that's the data from my first airspeed study. I built a wind tunnel using a stack of box fans and a really high bicycle ramp. That sounds both awesome and like you should be dead now. That's exactly what the ER doc said. Pictures <gasps> of the family! Aw, Tiny Lars is adorable! Oh, that's my brother. I'm the one by the tree. Oh, no. Tiny Lars is... unfortunate. <laughs> yes. Yes, he was. What have we got here? Charts? Graphs? <gasps> 8 track steel wool demo tapes! I keep forgetting you were in a real band! I need to find a way to listen to this! We have more important things to worry about right now. Nope, sorry. Can't stop the rock, Lars. Them's the rules. I feel like I'm learning a lot about Lars. Not the point of this exercise. Fringe benefit. Oh, <laughs> check it out! Fan mail! I wouldn't read those if I were you. Are you kidding me? I can't turn down the chance to... Oh, okay. That letter is very dark. But I'm sure they're not all. Oh boy, okay. Is this... Written in blood? I would not be surprised. With all these changes that are happening in the sky, we need to see if they're having any effect here on the ground. Give me some fresh data from the husks running around down there, and we'll see what's cooking. On it! Commander, time for some husk hunting. Some fresh husk data for you, Lars. Whoa, the husks seem to be moving with a little more purpose. I need more information. We'll keep looking. Ah! Nice job! Give up that sweet data! Hmm. Their patterns seem to be changing. I thought I had these husks figured out. I need to think about this. Well, Lars thinks. Let's gather more husk data. Data's looking good. No. I think whatever is happening in the sky is affecting things on the ground. It looks like the husks are going somewhere. Can't be clever enough to plan things, can they? Well, whatever's up there, it may be calling out to them. Uh oh, that's probably bad. Steel wool is currently the number one record at home base. And not just because we don't have any other records, people actually like it. Like, really like it. They're practically begging me for albums. Could you help us out? The robot? Why am I getting fan mail? Because you, sir, are a delight. <sighs> Look, steel wool had our time in the spotlight. We faded. It's over. Can we just leave it alone? I would love to say yes. But judging by the attendance at the fan club meeting, I'm gonna have to say, probably not. It was everybody. Everybody came. Perfect. Oh, live from Thunder Valley! Great find! Oh, this article is the best. Here we go, Lars quote incoming. Lead guitarist Larson Helmsgate considers the question thoughtfully. His soulful eyes betraying the brilliant scientist's mind, hiding behind the brutal thundering riffs. Someone wants to get with Lars. I'm not comfortable in the spotlight, he finally says, his long brown hair rippling impishly in the wind. Woo! 
Staff report to Tina Albright. You are not sudden. <gasps> Poorly taped live show. Yes! The one true currency of fandom. Hey, little robot. As long as you're digging around in my past, I wouldn't say no to a photo of the band. Of course. I've got like a dozen to choose from. Great. I ideally one where we're wearing shirts. Cannot help you there. Yeah, that sounds about right. Another write-up! Go inside the stormy final days of the disastrous Endless Thunder tour. Uh-oh. They no longer resemble a boisterous band of brothers, but five bitter strangers standing alone on stage. If rumors can be believed, lead guitarist Lars and bassist Carlos Watt, the duo who famously ran a cutting-edge research facility before sharing the stage, haven't spoken in months. Oh, right. This is how all the music movies end. We should stop. Hey, Lars. I think I'm starting to see why you're not happy about this steel wool craze. So, I'm putting the hype train back in hype station. Don't do that just yet. Round up some speakers. I want to show you something. played my music, I noticed something. The husks hated it. Then crank it up! You got me thinking about my touring days, so I broke out some steel wool. Our second record, Pressure Systems, first time I actually listened to it. To my surprise, I liked it. Right? It's criminally underrated! The bass line on Vortex Blues is mind-shattering. It's straight up... Did Carlos have, like, five fingers on each hand or something? Yes. Because that's the normal amount. I knew that. Crank it up and throw away the dial, husks and smashers. The Steel Wool Apocalypse is at hand! Oh, wow, they really hate it. I'm trying not to take it personally. Non-stop rock coming at ya. I didn't think I could like steel wool any more than I already did. Oh yeah, that's right, you better run! The only thing better than loving something is knowing that it drives everyone else crazy. Creepers, it's mandatory jams time! Hey Lars, what happened between you and Carlos? Life on the road can really wear you down. That and he wanted to give it all up and get back to his research and I didn't. He saw me walk away from our friendship just to stay up on that stage. Kinda hard to come back from that. I love this one! Yeah, it's one of my favorites, too. Man, hard to believe this is it. No more steel wool. We won't even get the chance to embarrass ourselves with a reunion tour no one asked for. Think you would have reunited? Who knows? Before the storm hit, Carlos invited me to join him on a research project out in the desert. I said no. <sighs> Any chance to be stubborn and wrong, you know? So, that's that, I guess. Well, maybe he's still out there. What? Alone in the storm in the middle of nowhere? That's where I met you. Operation Getting the Band Back Together begins now. I did some snooping through Lars's things. And I think I know where Carlos was working back before he left for the desert. Let's check it out. It may lead us to where he went. This looks like the kind of research equipment Lars uses. And it's still running! This could be Carlos's work. Ooh, there's a note. Left to follow the trail. Don't touch the button. Ooh, well, I would have already pressed it if I knew where it was, so... I guess you win. Note. 
You found another of Carlos's research setups. And he's not here. But there's a note. May not make it through this, Lars, but I need you to know one thing. Flutes are not hard rock. Whew. Lars is on the wrong side of this one. Flutes are prog at best. At best! Good find! More of Carlos's research equipment. Another note. Astral object B375 not behaving as it should. That's a bit judgy. You're doing great, Commander. Stay on his trail. I think this is the last note. Seems like the trail's gone cold. Carlos says, close calls, big squalls. Made it for now. Won't be long. Not at my best. For safety now, I'm heading southwest. Huh. Musicians. Always got a song in their heart. Another note. Too much light pollution. I wish someone would turn all the lights off one of these nights. Well, I have good news and bad news, Carlos, from the past. 